Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to show you a quick method that you can use to send a reboot command to your gateway from your computer. Now this is really for a Windows computer, but um, I have it all set up where you can download a file, you can follow these quick instructions. There are a couple uh, tricks, it actually took me a little while to, uh, to figure out some of them to get around. Uh, some of the policies inside of uh, PowerShell and Windows, but I'll show you how to do it. It actually is pretty quick and pretty easy. So let me just hop on the com computer and I'll show you step by step how to do it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the video description. So that's in, in YouTube in this uh, video, and it goes to a pastebin site that um, shows you what you see right here. You can copy and paste it into a text. Sometimes you get into issues with um, the font. So what I recommend is you go to the download um, area right here. I like to right click on it and do save link as. That way it doesn't go into my downloads folder. I can actually tell it exactly where I want it to go. And you can see here I've already downloaded it into this, um, this folder here. So that is this one right here. And if I double click it and open it up, it popped up on my other screen. So in here you can see obviously username is admin for this device, but then the password needs to be whatever you have it as. And it might be the factory one, which is going to be on the back side on the sticker. And so you can type that in. I changed my password and, uh, so we can see it right here and now you don't need to do anything else to this 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 is a very easy script the only thing you need to do is rename it to a dot ps1 so in my last video I didn't tell you guys how to do this if you don't see the extension the dot txt on there click on the view and then make sure this file name extension uh, box is checked if it's not checked you won't see the dot txt so have that there and then what you can do is um, you click on here so you can rename it and highlight the extension this time and dot ps1 hit enter and now it's going to say hey if you change that it's going to change the device type do you want to do that and the answer is yes you do so um, now we have that. I've been playing with this old one. Uh, it's the exact same thing. It's actually just called Reboot. Um, and so now what we want to do is that one, if, I, if you right click it, for example, and hit Run with PowerShell, it should automatically restart the gateway. It takes about 5 to 10 seconds uh, for it to do that. But that's a quick test you can do. And if it doesn't work, it means you might have the password wrong. Or you your computer is not connected to it. it could be could be the other thing <clears throat> so that works for me and now what I need to do is schedule it so to schedule it I just now go to your start menu and type in task scheduler if I do it it actually moves my window away to the other screen so it doesn't work but if you type in task scheduler and then open it up you'll get this view here and what you want to do is click on this task scheduler library, right click it, and create a task. And now you can name it whatever you want. You can name it, you know, um, KVD21 Reboot. And we can just give it uh, whatever description we want. Um, like and sub to Nader Tater. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you run it with the highest privileges. That's basically admin rights. And then, you know, you want to have it uh, whether the user is logged in or not. That way, if you're logged off, um, then it will still run. And that's something you can adjust, I guess, if that's not what you want. Now we have a trigger. So the trigger is going to be time of day, right? So I'm going to say daily, uh, every day. And I'm going to make it, you know, at 412. And then make sure it's enabled there. And we'll call that one good. All right, so now we have action. 
you want to do a starter program okay so now this is where it gets a little bit more tricky and so we want to go to browse and then we want to find that um, file that we just renamed and so in this case um, it's right here I'm going to click open and that's going to give me this file path but this file path I just did that so you can get a quick easy copy paste of what the file path is so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to control exit which is you know to cut it you can also right click cut and then I have to add a couple arguments here and these arguments is because this PowerShell script is not signed which is a way of you know authenticating that any kind of script uh, file is legitimate and it's not malware or um, you know a hacker getting into there but obviously since we made this file it's not a signed file and so therefore we have to circumvent the policies that say you only run um, signed copies okay now that I cut that I'm going to type in PowerShell exe which is actually the program that I want to run okay so now I need to add some arguments in there and that is to bypass the execution policy so I'll do execution policy bypass and then I need to call the file so I need to do the dash file and then now I'm going to do a space and then control V or right click and paste and that will throw back in the file um, location that we had selected so that I will put um, in the video description as well so you can copy paste that execution policy part as well the syntax is important to get correct if you have them out of order or um, you miss something it will not work so now we said okay so we did that and now conditions I did not need to change these but you might want to um, you can do things like wake the computer up uh, might be one that uh, you would consider doing and then um, in the settings one uh, again you can have it you know retry this task if um, if it failed the first time for whatever reason uh, you can stop it you can do these kind of things for me I really left it at um, at the default where it was okay so that's uh, all I have to do I'll click OK here now it's going to ask for my password I type that in and now it is saved in here and ready to go now what I can do is I can test it right now I don't have to wait till um, the middle of the night to do that I can either right click it and click run I can go over here and click run um, either way right click I hit run and then I'm going to watch this guy right here and see what it does we'll give it a few seconds to uh, to run this it says it's running and there we go so it just turned off on me and now we'll see it um, show the T logo here in a second and that means it's restarting there we go so that's showing you that that command will work and now um, it will automatically do it for you every day so hope you enjoyed this hope it's helpful for you guys um, do give me a thumbs up down below on the like button and then add any comments that you have regarding this or other things with uh, T-Mobile Home Internet uh, or any other questions that you have for me and my channel. So thanks for watching and take care.